Hi there, Whimsy here. Today we're diving into Diorama Builder, a relaxing game where we'll assemble miniature worlds in a puzzle-like fashion. Once we complete our diorama, we'll explore our tiny creations to uncover hidden interactions and secrets. This is a first look, so if you enjoy it and want to see more of this game, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, sit back, relax, and let's start building. All right, so looks like we have a little bit maybe of like a intro tutorial here. Welcome to Diorama Builder. This is your exclusive virtual space to assemble various dioramas as many times as you like, and best of all, without worrying about physical space, dust, lost, or broken pieces. The only rule is to have fun. You know, I like that they say that because it's the worst when you're working on like a big puzzle and you realize as you're getting so close to the end that there are a couple of pieces missing. Okay, so navigate to the diorama selector shelf and choose the model you want to assemble. So what do we all have here? Like an Old West crime scene. Merry Christmas. Okay, so maybe that would be one that we could do around the holidays. Egyptian temple, Asian home. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we can buy them on our computer, it looks like. So at the computer, here you see the models you already have, how many you have completed, rearrange them on their shelf, favorite them, continue assembling them, see the model image, or even start over. Okay. I think it's gonna walk us through this. Oh, interactive mode. When this mode is in use, get ready for many surprises. So I think this is what I was saying earlier in that you can kind of, once it's complete, you can interact with the little world that you just created, which is really cool. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, so it looks, there we go. It's a little sensitive. Let's see if we can change that. Yes, we can. Let's see how that feels. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, wow, okay. So, so before we get in, let's just take a look around. So, all right, what do we have here? Okay, so clicking that actually brings you back to the Steam page. So it looks like these are uh, different games that the developer has also created. All right, and then we have cute. So it almost feels like we're in like a, a one bedroom apartment. And I feel like what I'm envisioning for us right now is that we are maybe like a young adult on their own for the first time. And we are, we have a very strong passion for dioramas. I mean, we even have like a crafting table set up here. So let me just check out what this computer is all about. Ah, okay, so... Okay, so cool, yeah. If you, if we want some more, we can download at least two more of them. And then it kind of saves your progress, which is really nice. So if I stop midway through, I can see where I'm at and go back. Love that. Fave, I didn't mark that as my fave. Oh, nice, and it shows where it is on the shelf, too. Okay, cool. So, and you could literally just select it from here, it looks like, as well. What's that? Hmm, it shows you a preview, nice. So I was actually thinking we were gonna do the Old West, which I think looks kind of fun. Although, let's go see, though. Back. Okay, so Old West looked kind of fun to me. I feel like we can't do this one right now. Doesn't make sense. We should wait for the holidays. This one looks kind of cool. 
But I think because this is our first one, let's do the one with 240 pieces. Um, and here we go. Yeah, let's start with the first one, the, the easy one. Okay, so... Okay, so choose whether to activate a mesh to help you position the pieces in your current places, in their correct places. Alright, so the game kicked me out, but I got back in. Unfortunately, that little, like, intro is no longer here, but... Let's see. Okay, so it was talking about a mesh. Okay, yes, perfect. Okay, so they were basically saying, use this mesh to help you figure out where things go. So can we zoom in? Yes, we can. And then, let's see. So this actually looks like the start of a carriage. So let's start putting these in. And guys, I'm not sure how long this is actually gonna take, but I love that it kind of feels a little bit like a, a puzzle. Okay, so we have the wheels, and then how do we, there we go. Yeah, the moving's actually really simple. Okay, um, ornaments maybe? Yeah, we've got some tumbleweeds. Another one there. And then it looks like we have some rocks. Maybe that? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, we have three of these. Okay. There we go. One more. Which is over here. Can't really see that, but yeah, right there. Looks like we have this there. Oh. Oh, okay. Cactus. Nice. Oh, funny. It has like little arms too that we can put in. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Oops, let's put that back. Oh, no. Did you get like scored? <laughs> on how many times you screw up, I wonder. Okay, there we go. I like that. Looks like we got some poles here. Ooh, okay. And then... Okay, I like this. I like that once you complete something, it shows you kind of the next steps. So, let's finish this little fence here. Oops. There we go, and then we have one more cactus. Uh, and then two more of these. Awesome. Okay, then it looks like we have a crate here. And I'm not seeing another crate outside, so... Let's put these in. I'm envisioning this is where you'd like pull up with your horse, tie him or her up. There. Okay, so I'm assuming the rest of this is probably going to show up on the carriage. But... Yeah, it looks like there's more to do with maybe the wheels of the carriage. So I'm assuming this. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, it's not showing us kind of what else to do. So we're probably missing something. And then we have this. Perfect. And then I'm assuming this. Yeah. Looks like those are seats maybe. Oh, nope. <laughs> um, this? Nice, okay. Perfect. And then, oh, here we go. The front. And 
And then what else? I feel like it's probably something really small that I'm missing. Is it the top here? No. There we go, yeah. And we have the sides, which look to be this. Okay, and then the front here. So, let's see. And it looks like a little seat there, too. Perfect. Cute. Okay, what are we missing? Uh, looks like some paneling. Nice. Okay, now what? Not seeing what would go next. Let's see if it pops for me. Hmm. Oh, wait, right here. Okay. Yeah, so if you're not seeing something, kind of just hover your mouse around it. You'll kind of see the little gray mesh pop up if you're not sure what next steps are. Okay, and then we have the sides coming together. We have a door we can put in on each side. <laughs> I don't know why that... There, yeah, that's what I did. I don't know why they said that was wrong. Okay, I think it's actually the top now, huh? Nope. There we go. And then is it this? Perfect. And then that. Congratulations, you've completed the carriage. Love that. Yeah, it's looking cool. This is fun. I like this. Okay, so then... Oh. oh, that's nice. You can get rid of all of that, though, if you want to. So let's go back here because it's looking like that for sure goes there, right? No? Hmm. There. Okay. That goes there. Looks like that goes there. I'm not sure why the money, the bags here are not working. Oh, you know what? It's probably these two. There we go. I'm assuming there's going to be maybe, a, oh yeah, a bank that will go there. Okay, so it looks like we're missing another suitcase. And one more. And then this must go there. Perfect. Okay, I don't know if I'm seeing anything else that goes up here. So I think the carriage is officially good. Awesome. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Let's maybe start on the bank. Although, what is that? Let's see. Maybe it's the saloon. So I'm assuming, does that go there? No. Um. Nope. Oh, it must be this. Okay, so the water tank. Oh gosh, okay. Higher than I thought. That must be this. Nice. There. And then let's see. Let's put the flooring down. There we go. Pillars. Okay. Nope. How about that? There we go. This must go here. Yeah. Mm 
there. Oops, no. Let's get this. There. Okay, let's zoom out. Looks like we just have a few more of these. Then we have this long pipe there. Perfect. Okay. A little crisscross here. Perfect. Oh, there's the ladder. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like if you're just looking for a super chill game to play, kind of space out and just put like a really cool world together, I feel like this is the game that you'll want to play. And especially since they have more that you can download and I think, you know, they'll plan to continue coming out with more. Okay, so let's put the ladder up. And then it looks like we have some beams up here. This must go to the water tank then. I was wondering what that was. So put that up. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see. Okay. There we go. Yay. Cool. Okay, so what else do we want to work on? So let's do the bank. So what happens? Uh, okay, so if you're kind of trying to find where each building or whatever you're trying to build is located, you can do that. Okay, that's nice. So let's put the floors in to get a sense of what we all need. And it looks like we have some smaller flooring there. Perfect. And I can already tell if we go back to ornaments, we have this. And it looks like we also have some of those money bags here. And a chest. Perfect. Where's that? Okay, I think I'm assuming the gold's gonna go in here somewhere. Uh, but for now, let's go back to the bank and start putting up some walls, huh? No. <laughs> okay, let's try this. There we go. And then it looks like one more. Whoops. I am gonna laugh if they have, like, a scoring system for how many times you, like, screwed it up <laughs> okay it looks like this goes up there yep little roof okay so we have a window there ah okay so this must go here there we go and then we need the frame with the door perfect that goes up there this is a very like western that building style all right, so does that go here? Yes. No. That must go there, and then this must go on top? Yeah, there we go. Whoops. Awesome. Okay. This is looking good, so let's get... Oh, no, not that yet. We want this. And then we can put our letters in. <laughs> I like this. This is fun. There we go. Um, so we got a window. Perfect. It'd be kind of cool if you had... Oh yeah, maybe you do. I was going to say it'd be kind of cool if you had to actually put like the... The window panes in. Let's see. Oh yeah, little shutters. I love that. Okay, then we need the door frame. And it looks like then we have one of those swinging doors. I feel like that was a bank. I don't know if I... Uh, maybe it's not. All right. Let's go around and put the roof up. There we 
there we go. Okay, the bank is supposedly done, although I'm assuming if we go to ornaments, yeah, so we have a safe. There we go. And that's where it's just fun. I love like the little details in. Oh weird. The little details in the bank too. Okay, so we got some cash. There we go. And then the gold. It looks like there's something else that can go. Oh, here we go. All right, perfect. All right, is there anything else? I think the bank's done. All right, I think we always start with the floor, right? So let's get this up. All right, and then looks like we have some pillars here. Right out front. There we go. Okay, and then it looks like we have some walls. Perfect. Um, this must be, yeah. Ooh. Does this have two stories? <laughs> Funny. Are those like uh, track marks? looks like it. I love that. Okay, um, what are we missing? We're missing a, like a door frame. Here we go. So that goes there, and then this will go up there. No, we want the one at the top? No. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh, weird. What would go there? This? Okay. And then maybe this? Yeah, okay. And then we're missing these guys. So where would that be? Is it this? Yes. Perfect. And it looks like that would go there. Yep. And then we just have this. Perfect. Okay, so let's get this up. Nice. All right, so then let's uh, let's finish up the roof. So it looks like we have some more that we need to do up here. So the windows, lots of windows, and then let's get this saloon sign going. So. Um, it doesn't look like it's giving me anything to put it on, so maybe it's just... No. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, it's literally right here. Okay. Okay, and then we can put this in. Love that. Okay, cool. And then I think if we go back to ornaments... There we go. Okay. So this, some of this must be inside then, because I'm not seeing these. I wonder if these would actually go there. Oh yeah, okay, okay. They just automatically turn. Let's zoom in a little bit. Whoops, it's a little too much. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Oh gosh. Okay. We're gonna have to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Ornaments are done. Okay, cool. I'm really loving, like, the little detail. Like this. The, um... Like, the footprints going in and then some debris up on the top here. Alright. So let's go back to Saloon. And... Oh, I see what's happening. So we still need to fill out this. That's cool. Okay. Does that go there? Yeah, it does. And then we have the doors. Ah, uh, it's kind of meant to look like there's light in there, I'm guessing. I think that's what's going on. Oh, yeah, because we can put these in there. Oh, cool. Okay. 
love that. Okay, so then let's put the rest of the windows in down here. Gosh, guys, we're almost done. So I'm assuming as you kind of work on other puzzles, either the dioramas are just going to be, like, much bigger than this. Although, based on this table, they can't get much bigger. So I'm wondering if they just get, like, more detailed. So, for example, like, some of the the puzzles or the dioramas that have like 300 400 i wonder if it gets as granular as like you know putting these hinges on that's what i'm guessing but they could also just be more um complicated builds i guess too um okay so where were we we were putting windows in Okay, so then we have this etching right there. We have this guy right there. And then, yeah, we're just spelling out, just spelling out beers, beers. Oops, what did I just grab? Oh, we're missing these two. There we go. Okay, and then whiskey. Almost done, guys. This is exciting. Alright! Woohoo! Let's take a drink. Finished. The saloon on the Old West. Okay, congratulations. You have completed the Old West. Now this diorama will enter the interaction mode. In this mode, some objects will be clickable. Find them and have fun with what will happen. Also, click on these icons to switch. Ooh, okay, cool. I love that. When we were putting the windows in, I was actually just thinking that. I was like, how cool would it be if they had day and night mode? Or states, I guess. Um, but then I, I kind of shrugged it off because I was like, ah, oh, that's probably not a feature. But that's awesome. Okay. All right. So let's see. So we are in. Oh, cool. I wish that it would light up a little bit more, but that's all right. Okay, so what can we interact with? <laughs> cool. Um... <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> Bye. Does it come back? Okay, it does. <laughs> um, let's go into the... Can we open these up? Nice. I don't know if they're supposed to go out that way, or they're supposed to open that way, but... Oh, we can... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's about to explode. Uh-oh. Whoops. Let's see, I'm assuming we can do more in here, yeah. We're gonna crack into the save. Perfect. We're gonna just take all that, please. Can we open this? No. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything more. Oh wait, there was something up here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that was the door. Okay. So let's see if any interactions change once we go to nighttime. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Cool. Well, I love this, guys. So let's, uh... Get rid of that. Let's get a good view of what we did. How cool is this? 
All right, so I think we're gonna leave it here. I had a lot of fun doing this. If you guys did too, definitely leave a like or put a comment below and let me know if you wanna see us do some more of these dioramas together. Like I said, it was just kind of a really relaxing game. So if that's the vibe that you're in, definitely check this one out. And with that guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.